I was asked, why is the price of Bitcoin falling right now? And to answer that question, it's this concept. I, I, hopefully, I can teach it to all of you. More people are selling than buying. Price goes down. Simple demand is low. Nobody wants it. Everybody wants to get rid of it. Well, price is going to drop. It's just how it works. But why are different coins doing better than others? That is a question I want to cover with you today. As always, it's great to be with you. And I want to talk about one quick thing here. I actually just want to talk about Bitcoin. And you, you get what I mean in a second. The top 10, you know, uh, 10 cryptocurrencies are doing much better than some other coins. And the reason for that is that you have a lot of updates coming up with these top coins. And they're a lot more certain than all coins when you're dealing with an, you know, an unknown scenario where there's a ton of FUD going around. Um, you have Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the most exciting one because um, it hasn't had an update in four years. And that's a big deal for Bitcoin, the mighty first ever Bitcoin, to actually get an upgrade. And I've seen so many people talk about how, well, Bitcoin is, it is what it is. It's not as good as others. It's never going to be like, no, no, guys, the network can still be updated. 90% of the miners have said yay to getting the network going with you know new improvements so it's happening right now it's scheduled for november this means that we could see smart contracts for bitcoin we could see what you know everybody else talks about in the beloved first ever cryptocurrency like this is a big big deal it basically means that ethereum's nice but we could use bitcoin to do what ethereum is doing so I'm not saying that there aren't other benefits with these other networks, but this is a huge deal for uh, Bitcoin. I mean, everybody looks at it as something that's static, that's never going to change. It's, it just can't improve. And that is going to be proved once again. In just a couple of months here, we're going to see this major update come to Bitcoin. And by then, that's when prices should be peaking. Um, you, my guess, personal guess on this one, and again, I could be wrong and I have been, you know, known to be right all the time. It's going to happen a little bit before November hits. Um, I think in November, things might not be at, you know, at a, at a peak price. It might, we might be seeing a little bit of a dip then, but right before that comes out, I think we're going to see a lot of FOMO and people are going to take advantage of that. And when November comes around, things aren't going to be as good as everybody else thought. And then we might see some other buy-ins, but it's been great hanging out with you. Hope everybody's having a good weekend. Tomorrow we might have a bloodbath um, because right now we're looking at about, you know, uh, just under $35,000 for Bitcoin. I think tomorrow might not be so hot, but we'll see what happens. See you guys on the next one.